On this episode of Northern News, we'll take a look back in the middle school's recent book fair, show off a presentation from our life classes, hear from a Northern graduate, get a preview of our fall play, and check in with one of our favorite teachers. All that and more on this episode of Northern News. I'm Emily Plotkin, and welcome back. During the week of October 25th to the 29th, Northern Burlington Regional Middle School held a book fair sponsored by the Parent Teacher Student Connection. Let's go to the student reporter, Nicole Casalina, with more. This past fall, Northern's Middle School hosted its annual book fair to promote ways for students to stay active and engaged in reading and literacy. My favorite part as an, as an ELA teacher, my favorite part is seeing uh, the students get so excited about reading and picking new books and making suggestions to me about books we should add to our classroom library. So I love that. Some top, I, I'm seeing, since I'm standing right in front of it and it's almost Halloween time, all the horror section apparently is a real, oh sorry, is really, uh, is really on it uh, this year and all of my uh, students are telling me I don't have enough horror books in my classroom so I think I'm going to be choosing from this, uh, from this little section myself. I, uh, the kids love the book fair, they get, they get really excited about it and you know like I said before they just, just seeing them get excited about reading and books and being able to pick their own books out and you know showing me what they bought at the book fair you know when they come to class later I think that's really what they get is, is that reading can and should be fun right it's not just something you do at school just like I'm sure all of you read for pleasure because you've learned that it's a fun thing to do and so that uh, that the book fair encourages that a special thanks to the PTSC and everyone who participated for Northern TV I'm Nicole Casalino On Monday, October 21st, Northern's Life Classes hosted informational workshops to help inform and educate underclassmen on a variety of teenage topics that affect them in their lives and relationships. Nina Montalbano has the story. Hi, my name is Nina Montalbano here with Northern TV. Recently, 26 seniors presented workshops to the freshman class. The skits discussed things such as sex, healthy relationships, and consent. Hi, my name is Gianna Aletto. I'm a senior and I participate in LIFE. Alrighty, so for our first question today, can you describe the LIFE presentation on October 21st? So this past Thursday, we met up with all of the gym classes for the freshmen and we did skits and group activities to talk about sexual behaviors, consent, and abstinence. Alrighty, and what do you think the freshmen gained from this experience? I hope that the freshmen gained a lot of knowledge that they didn't know prior, and um, I just hope that they also took into consideration that us seniors are always open to talk to them about any questions they have, and we have a few more life presentations coming up in the future to be ready for. Alrighty, is there anything else you'd like to add? I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all the life members and Mr. Darling, and for all the freshmen, be ready for some future presentations coming up. Northern Burlington staff members are one of its most valuable assets. Every day they bring dedication, expertise, and caring into their classrooms and ask for nothing in return. In an effort to pay tribute and thank them for what they do, we want to dig deeper into who they are and what drives them in this episode of Teacher Spotlight. Hi everybody, I am here with uh, Mr. Kieran Ramamurphy, also known as Dr. Ram by a select few people, and I'm going to be asking him a couple of questions. So, Dr. Ram, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Uh, well, Platoon? Love uh, 12 Years a Slave, and on the comedy front, you know, anything by Will Ferrell. Next question is uh, favorite books, perhaps? I know you read a lot, so. Growing up, 
probably Orwell, 1984. That was my first favorite. And uh, this summer, I had a great read of Leaves of Grass. And then uh, finally, favorite food. Anything Mexican. That concludes our interview with Ms. Sarama Murphy. Northern Burlington's middle school FFA chapter recently held a fall fest activity with trivia and hands-on games to give the students an opportunity to socialize with each other as well as celebrate various aspects of agriculture. In late October, we celebrated middle school FFA and fall with a fall fest party. It included a variety of activities from Play-Doh challenges to candy guessing games to a speaking challenge called the Fang Challenge. Hi, my name is Delaney Fox. I'm a seventh grader here at Northern Burlington. Um, we just finished a FFA party and it was very fun because um, we played games and we got prizes. Hi, my name is Mason Van Brammer. I am a student at Northern Burlington. Today we had an FFA party and one of the challenges were to make sculptures out of Play-Doh. As you can see, we had to make a jack o lantern we had to make a witch and a skeleton. What that was, was a uh, witch on a broomstick, um, <laughs> legs, um, uh, her face, the top hat. Northern's Thespian Troop recently hosted a food drive called Trick or Treat So Kids Can Eat to help local families in need. Let's hear from a participant. On November 1st, Thespian Troop 4762 organized non-perishable food items to donate to those who are less fortunate. Leading up to the event, donations were dropped off to several locations, including the High School Media Center, High School Auditorium, the High School Main Lobby, and the Middle School Choir Room. Uh, hi, I'm Christian DeSandra and I'm a recently inducted thespian. Um, we recently participated in the Trick or Treat So Kids Can Eat fundraiser. Uh, it's just to help um, people that are less fortunate, especially around this sort of time when everyone is getting candy and everything. It's just to help more people be happy. And uh, a group of thespians and I, we sorted food from charity into different uh, categories so that we can help those people that are less fortunate. Special thanks to Mr. Wiley and everyone who contributed. For Northern TV, I'm Nina Montabano. In our final story, Northern Burlington's theater department is currently rehearsing for their fall play, A Midsummer Night's Dream. Let's take a look behind the curtain at this exciting production. Northern Burlington students are preparing to put on Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream to entertain community residents. The play will be held later this year on December 10th through the 12th at Northern Burlington High School's auditorium. The cast has been working hard with the help of the director, Jason Wiley, and assistant director, Lauren Delphine. So what's your name and who will you be playing in Northern's production of A Midsummer Night's Dream? Hi, I'm, I'm Christian DeSandra and I'll be playing Lysander in the blue cast of Midsummer Night's Dream. What's your favorite scene that you're doing and why? That's a brilliant question. Uh, I really like Act 2, Scene 2. Uh, it's super fun to be able to, honestly, it sounds a bit lazy, but it's really fun to be able to just lay on the ground and like hear people walking around you as things go by. And then when you finally like get up, you get to have this like really great scene with Helena. This is the most important question. Are you excited to be a part of this production? Oh my god, I'm super, super stoked. It's my first production in like two years, and it's just, I know it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi, my name's Lauren, and I'm playing Hermia in A Midsummer Night's Dream. What's your favorite scene that you're a part of, and why? 
Act three, scene one, because I get to pull someone's hair. <laughs> and this is probably the most important question. Are you excited to be part of this production? Oh my gosh, definitely. It's so good. Uh, I'm Matthew Sprague, and I am playing Theseus in Northern Burlington's production. I am Parker Dennis, and I am also playing Theseus. What's your favorite scene that you're a part of, and why? Uh, probably Act 5, Scene 1, I believe, because I get to watch the most mediocre play in existence. Once again, uh, Act 5, Scene 1, uh, our character basically um, has to criticize a play while trying to stay upbeat, but realizing just how bad it really is, and they can't say much good about it. The cast and crew are working extremely hard to put on the best performance they can. Their goal is to bring laughter and joy to their audience. The production will be performed for the public on December 10th through the 12th. They hope to see you there and enjoy the show. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Northern News. And be sure to check out the rest of our programming on YouTube and follow us on Twitter to keep track of what we're up to. For Northern TV, I'm Emily Plotkin. <laughs>